Welcome back to turn two of Rattenkrieg. Uh, and again, I'm just going to press go and see what we get. So we're moving some scouts into the post office. And this MG over here is going to carry on shooting at that 45mm gun. We'll see if Halloween decides to shoot back or pull it back or whatever. And oh look, a tank contact. Isn't that fun? So now I'm kind of extra gra glad I put those scouts on a uh, short target arc so they don't... Ah! There's another 45mm gun. And there's the tank. Awesome. Let's go check those out in a couple of seconds. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's another 45mm gun. Or somebody from another 45mm gun. Looking across here at the uh, across the 9th of January square, no surprises there. And we can, justifiably I think, uh, guess that Halloween has some kind of security element protecting it around here. And then over here we have a tank! Yay! It's a T-34, I mean as if it was going to be something else. Uh, but it is the uh, you know the right T-34 as it were with the uh, 76mm gun. And who can see them? It's this scout team here. Uh, from uh, Luke's squad from the Patreon platoon. Uh, so yep, I mean look at that. That's uh, some classic hull down. Problematic tank positioning there. Uh, and from there, obviously, it can shoot up the post office pretty well. And it's screened by these buildings. So, yeah, how are we going to deal with that? Mm, that's a question. Uh, let's go back over here. Have we uh, managed to actually hit any of these guys? Doesn't look like it, but we spotted another one. It's busy shooting up the general area. Yeah. So, no, it hasn't hit anybody. Uh, and no, isn't getting shot back at. So, I mean, that's a plus, isn't it? So, how are we going to deal with that T-34? Well, how likely is it that Halloween has, what, he has two AT guns and a tank that we've spotted, so there might be more. But I've also done the full selection for this for the Soviet side, and I don't think there's that much in it. Certainly, the um, the T thirty four is like two hundred odd points, and it's quite a significant chunk. So, if we can knock that out, we're going to gain a serious advantage. How can we knock it out? Well, don't think uh, I was talking to say, oh, I could get an anti tank rifle and shoot at it. Well, I don't have any. I don't have any Panzer Shreks, and yeah, we got Panzer Faust, but. A little bit uh, risky using them. Uh, so, can we bring one of the tanks up uh, onto the flank of that T-34? Uh, how are we going to do that? Well, we can go down this road, down um, as a as a sky, as a whatever, down that road on the far right. Or we can come down here, uh, but then you know we need to start thinking about these buildings. The 
plus side is that that T-34 from that position can't cover the 9th of January square. You just need to worry about the uh, AT guns. Uh, who spotted that, incidentally? Four Company HQ, who have a radio, and we have some mortars, so we could mortar them. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a solid option. We could start cooking that up, and we could mortar that one as well. And that's going to put the pressure on Halloween to um, adjust his T-34. Uh, so yeah, I think mortaring some of them is probably going to be a good move. So yeah, I mean, you know, thinking about the whole uh, combined arms tripod, we've got got a tank. There's got to be some infantry. How much artillery does he have? You know, if he has some mortars or something scurried away at the back. Um, we could be looking at a pretty chunky piece of force here. Off the top of my head, an infantry battalion has two. Or one of the Soviet infantry battalion types has two. Uh, 45 mil guns attached, so we could be looking at a stripped down battalion, but it's turn two. We're probably getting a little bit ahead of myself there. Um. So yeah, let's bomb the snot out of that that uh, that AT gun over there. Uh, who have we got to do that with? Well, you're the one who can see it, so you should probably do it. So that's uh, Copter 2000. And we're going to bring uh, FMG into the fight because he is the closest mortar and will therefore be the most accurate in theory. Uh, so we just do a heavy, heavy quick. That's just a couple of... Oh, see, this is why I... Ugh, for seven minutes. Ugh. Oh, God. Um, yeah, th this is part of the problem with the uh, the mortars and stuff. But, which is like, well, yeah, that's it's great having the mortar, but... God, can I move up? Would it be easier to direct fire? Can I... If I stick him there, uh, th th this is all because the call in time for those uh, mortars was going to be atrocious. Yeah, you can do that from there. So FNG, yay. Uh, FNG, you're up. Let's plot you a path. through here and risk getting shot at. Huh. Uh, what if we go into this building? I'm trying to find a covered route forward behind the tank. down here yeah that should be relatively safe uh, and we're, we were in defilade behind this building uh, I'm not expecting there to, there to be much else up there so yeah that should be fine if you uh, a pause of 30 minutes and then have um, the ammo bearer team following. Uh, and if it all goes wrong, it'll be okay. No, it won't. Uh, Lubka, you're in the uh, reserve for two, aren't you? Yeah.
Okay, well let's uh you got eyes on there, so let's uh let's bring this scout team. Uh, a bit higher up. Uh, the target arc there is just so that they're looking in the right direction. Uh, so just get a bit more altitude, see if we can see anything else. Uh, how far out is my artillery? My horrible terrible eight minutes out so yeah I probably should start putting more pressure on there we might need to just incur some casualties and just suck it up uh, alternatively we could send another part of the platoon out down the road which has no cover but see my, my issue here is that uh, where are we Yeah, turn the shaders off again. Great. Uh, this whole front of the inside of the post office is covered by the T-34. But I can still exert some threat by going this way. Granted, we're going to be exposed to some stuff from over there, but... I've got an MG team that... Oh, it can't cover it, can it? Why can't you cover that? You suck. No, don't go outside. Uh, what if we go higher up? Yeah, that'll do. Uh, but yeah, let's just hang on and softly, softly catch the monkey. Oh, you can see. Well, let's start shooting at that building and see if anything happens. And let's actually, let's get Jim Hull out the back of here. And stack up behind this wall here. You can see over there as well, can't you? Some no, not really. Have anybody up here with a radio? I better don't. Oh yeah, Chief Platoon has a radio. Uh, but you can see absolutely nothing because you're on the ground floor there where I put you to keep you safe. Yeah, well done. <sighs> um, so yeah, nothing... Uh, I'm trying not to reveal like that I have too many tanks or anything like that. Uh, quite so quick off the bat, I want to... You know, get Halloween into a position where he's at a disadvantage. And do the grind and then actually go for the objective rather than base myself on going for it. But it, it could be that I'm just going to have to get out there and run the risks. Uh, hang on, how long is it going to take you to pack up? 34 seconds. So actually, you better not pause. You better just go for it first. Uh, unnameable ammo bearer team. Uh, and if we do have problems from that angle, this Panzer uh, three, yes, uh, Atlas actual can actually shuffle this way a little bit, get eyes on that offending building there, which is the one looking through that gap. But yeah, let's uh, 
not go blindly in. Let's just the uh, 43 minutes. There's loads of time. 